Hi, my name is Abhijit. I am from Mumbai. And uh, my, my question is, uh, now there are a lot of videos on uh, Chakra Dhyana. So, you know, someone is chanting the, uh, you know, the lung and all that words, and they tell you to uh, imagine. So how does that work? That is one. And second question is... One I by one, sir. One by one. Let us go one by one. Okay. So you got the answer already. They say they are trying, they are asking you to imagine, imagine that imagine the chakra is getting activated, imagine the energy is coming there. So when there is imagination, you are using the mind. Without using the mind, you cannot imagine. So when you are using the mind, then you are not in Raja Yoga. Then there is no way the transformation, the chitta doesn't get empty. The mind doesn't get empty. When the mind doesn't get empty, there is no way you can realize your soul. So all those chakra meditations and whatever it is, uh, that is not a real meditation. Okay. So those techniques can be useful to feel certain, to feel relaxed, to feel certain calmness, because you're using your imagination to feel that energy is coming in. You are using your imagination to feel that you are feeling better. So the imagination can be used to feel better momentarily. See, those techniques of visualization, uh, you know, some people, they say, okay, close your eyes and just imagine your heart is expanding and feel the gratitude and have the gratitude radiate all over your body. So some guided meditations are there. So those, all the techniques, it can be used for uh, relaxation. It can be used for momentarily reducing your stress, but okay. it, cannot, it cannot transform you. The transformation happens with Raja Yoga. Only when the mind is empty, the transformation happens. So those chakra meditation is not a meditation. Maybe you can call it as a relaxation technique, which will give okay. you a momentary benefit, but it is not a permanent benefit. Okay. Sir, my last question is, uh, who are the archangels? Can you please let us know? Like I've heard Ar this. Archangel. Okay. Did I speak about archangels? No, right? No. Okay. But it's a general question. Okay. Archangels. Right. So... We have two evolutions on the planet Earth. Okay, so one is the human evolution, which I said from mineral to the plant, plant to the animal, animal to the human, human to the divine human. That is one evolution. So there is another evolution on the planet Earth, which is we call it as a parallel evolution. So those are the fishes, the birds. So the fishes, the birds, and then they graduate into uh, fairies, nature spirits, elementals, and then finally they graduate to angels. So angels, they, they are in an angelic world. All the angels are in the angels are very highly evolved ones within the parallel evolution. Okay, like we have divine humans. So they are the angels. So angels live in the angelic world. They graduate and progress like the humans graduate based on our challenges. The more challenges we have, the more opportunity to learn the lessons. The soul evolves. But in the parallel evolution, the evolution is based on creativity. The evolution is based on service. So these angels, they focus on serving others, helping others, supporting others for their own evolution. Okay. So the archangels are like the interface to the outside world. From the angelic worlds, the archangels are the interface to the outside world. So these archangels, uh, they interact with other kingdoms, with other worlds and offer their services, support and creativity. So you, you can say the archangels are highly evolved angels. Within the angelic kingdom, the archangels are highly evolved and they act as an interface, a connect from angelic world to another world. Okay. Uh, sir, last question is, uh, what is... You said, you, you said last question. Let us give chance to other people, sir. Okay. So maybe I'll take the question later on. Yes. So... Next, Amit Mittal. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm Amit from Delhi. Uh, basically, sir, uh, my question is, uh, after 30-35 minutes of meditation, my mind gets empty. And I am listening the music in a very decent manner. I, everything is empty, but uh, and not able to, not able to witness my breath at that time. And uh, what to do after that? Nothing to do. Just enjoy that. 
enjoy that moment nothing to do finally you are letting to drop their mind so that is the you don't need to do so the moment you think what should i do then the mind becomes active just yeah. enjoy that moment enjoy that space that's all nothing to do again thinking start uh, again uh, mind start thinking yes so, yeah yeah so enjoy that moment enjoy that okay. moment whether it is 1 minute of emptiness 10 seconds of emptiness just enjoy it drop it as if you are dead nothing to do nowhere to go just enjoy that moment okay thank you sir yes okay nazreen hussain uh am i audible sir yeah if you can be a little bit louder that will be good yeah very good morning to you sir uh, my question yes. i am from rajasthan and my question is uh, what is more important peace or happiness they both are uh, complementing each other unless you are peaceful you cannot be happy if you are happy that means you are already peaceful okay thank you sir okay so lakshmi sandeep Lakshmi. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I'm yes. Lakshmi from Canada, sir. Uh, so you, in today's session, you have answered as if I felt like uh, you read the, everybody's mind and you answered most of the questions. I'm so glad today. And coming directly to my question, first thing is, any significance to the sequence of numbers that uh, uh, suddenly we come across? And the second thing is, uh what yesterday is uh, what, what is the first what is the let us go one by one okay so what is the first question you are asking any sequence to any significance to the any significant numbers any significance to the yeah uh, okay for example you are seeing the number 111222144 something some master numbers okay so yeah. see the truth is you are seeing some repeated numbers so that means Uh, your awareness has increased maybe the sequence numbers were always there but you never noticed and for the first time you are noticing it so maybe the, your awareness has increased that's one and number two so we, because you are seeing those numbers that helps you to be a little bit uh, more curious is there any sign what should i do right is there any uh, message i'm going to get from the other dimensions are there some angels going to come in my life okay so that creates that kind of a curiosity and expectation and the problem with the expectation is the expectations leads to frustrations okay and uh, sometimes the low frequency beings when they try to communicate with you so then you feel over excited and there is a you feel st- you start feeling special okay all the star beings they are going to contact me you know they are contacting me so that spiritual ego comes into the place so i would say whenever you are seeing any numbers you just witness it okay i am seeing the numbers beautiful so what that's it so you are not excited but you are you are open minded to be more aware that's all okay you have done your okay sorry sir yesterday is uh, in the session one point stressed me out you will uh, you will definitely understand because you have been in australia so being here outside of the country in india we don't get enough help here so cleaning uh, i mean having more of hygiene we do the, we do maintain the minimum kind of hygiene but not a kind of ocd kind of thing right so most of the times with all the day to day activities i won't be able to uh, do something so yesterday i felt oh my god i'm not doing this like uh, i'm not able to clean the that room this room it stressed me out little bit like uh, how much is too much and how much is uh, that's the only one thing that that's beyond my <laughs> strength do your uh, do your best madam do your best so you say um see it is little bit uh, interesting because people in the western world they are they take care of they give more importance to cleanliness okay and, yeah. so do your best don't get stressed yeah are you doing your best or not that is the point 
Yeah, I'm doing no, ex- no excuses. No excuses. Oh, I'm so busy. I'm doing so many things. No, no excuses. No. I do it, sir. I do it. And what happens is I get so much uh, tired after doing. So I That's why you need meditation. Go. Do more meditation. The unless unless you are a sincere meditator, unless you meditate every day, you will not have that kind of energy to go through all the personal hygiene and cleaning process so if you want energy do meditation i'm falling asleep when i do the meditation that mean that is a that is an indication you have very low energy if you are falling sleepy you are going into yoga nidra and meditation means you have very low energy so that is an indication you need more meditation so if you are falling asleep sleep happily in meditation don't feel guilty but after you get sufficient amount of energy automatically you become awake in the meditation so at that time even if you want to sleep you cannot sleep because you are full of energy so don't come out of the meditation continue the meditation sleep happily and once you come out of the sleep continue meditation continue long meditation then you will get more and more energy then you will not fall asleep the next meditation thank you so much sir it has yes. answered yeah Okay. Hello, Ivani. Hi, Master. This is, I have two questions. One yeah. first question first. From Malaysia, Sigrun from Malaysia. Um, I attended one section in one of the meditation. I'm, I'm a beginner on meditation. I'm I, I an infant soul, maybe. Or... <clears throat> no, no way. No way you are an infant soul. if you are sitting in meditation you are interested to know about the truth that means you are definitely a old soul thank you for my graduation um you start going into some kind of a start talking a language i don't understand make me scared oh no 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 some kind of light language. language i don't know what language was that it's uh, a light language it's a light, it's a language of the star beings Oh, so I got scared. I said, "What kind of meditation is this?" When that is not I... meditation. <laughs> that is not meditation. That is uh, magic. That is what we call it as uh, uh, tamasha, or uh, we can say that is more to capture your attention. You see, this is how the, you have to understand the very nature of the mind. You know how mind works. Mind doesn't like simple things. mind doesn't like simple things mind always likes complicated things okay truth is very simple but mind doesn't want to understand the truth you say okay close your eyes observe the breath that's it is it all so mind doesn't want to accept it but you say okay there is chakra meditation there is kundalini meditation there is this light language transmission happening you close the eyes and visualize the chakras get activated the kundalini get activated the uh, you know so there is a complex procedures you need uh, initiation you need guidance from the guru so when you have this complicated formulas then the mind says yeah so more complicated means yes that should be the the best one so it, the mind is also the same you know when you go to the market and uh, some vegetables are really uh, some products are uh, very uh, low price but good quality but the mind says no the products which are higher in price should be have better quality yes yes this is how the mind thinks so this is the very nature of the mind but actually there is nothing to do with the quality and the price but this marketing people they understand so the small the very normal product they package it they put it in a very fancy package and uh, they put spend so much money to advertise and to advertise the fanciness of it and they mark up make it as a premium product so then people are standing in the queue to line to buy that so this is the very nature of the mind truth is very simple meditation is very simple okay what is the truth that which empties your mind the technique which empties your mind is a right meditation so any technique you use whether it is mantras or visualizations it might help you to calm your mind but it doesn't empty the mind so emptying the mind happens only through raja yoga the king of all the yogas the breath meditation the anapanasati meditation so that is the simple truth so when you understand this um, then you will understand the bigger picture you know some meditation sessions because now the online sessions have become popular 
you know everywhere there is youtube channels there is uh, pmc everywhere there are many many organizations they're all doing all those things so they also want their own trp you know they also want their own uh, audience marketing has become very important now so what do they do you simply say okay we will teach meditation we will just teach breath meditation you come to our session very few participants are coming so but they say okay there is uh, chakra activation there is karma clearing or there is light language so they use this fancy words and everybody wants to join their session so it, it is uh, been used as a marketing so, so be aware of the marketing and know the truth and live in the truth if you want to help yourself you stick on to the truth don't get into the marketing trap thank you i'm i'm clear because i when i meditate people say i saw this i saw that something is coming to me for me i don't see anything i feel like relaxed uh, oh I, so i imagine that they are in a higher level i'm in a lower level you know sometimes no, no 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 actually when you don't follow you are in the higher level <laughs> Okay, so thank when you, you don't much. follow the when you don't follow the the gimmick of marketing you are higher level thank you master thank you okay thank you to me uh good morning pradeep yes sir where are you from uh i am from bilaspur chatisgarh okay uh, i have you one questions like mineral and plant kingdom do you have consciousness of course everything has consciousness everything fundamentally has consciousness and uh, second question is uh, do we get cosmic energy during mindfulness also during mindfulness you save a lot of energy see there are two ways one is to earn money and number two is to use the money properly and to save the money then only you will have money in your bank account you keep on earning money and you keep on spending there will be no money in the bank account so in meditation you get cosmic energy but in mindfulness you conserve the cosmic energy in mauna you conserve the cosmic energy so you feel more energetic you don't feel tired when you do mindfully you are not spending cosmic energy you are conserving cosmic energy so you feel more fresh okay one small question hmm is cosmic energy uh, inversely proportional to intensity of thoughts in other words in simple words the more thoughts you have the less cosmic energy you receive the less thoughts you have the more cosmic energy you receive So this means twenty four seven you get cosmic energy, right? Of Depending course. Depending on the intensity of, course, of thoughts in yes, your in your mind. Yes. No. You see, we are, we are breathing. When you are breathing, you are breathing prana, right? So cosmic energy is the energy which exists everywhere on the entire cosmos. It is the fundamental life force energy, and uh, when you are practicing mindfulness, you receive a little bit amount of cosmic energy, but fundamentally you are saving cosmic energy. okay and uh, the more you practice mindfulness the more you are not spending but you are maintaining it and even topping up your bank balance of energy thank you thank you yes okay muttu ravi shankar hi pradeep sir um i am from bangalore i have a question uh, regarding the offerings we do for uh, people who are vacated their body can you can you be bit uh, clear we, sir can you okay. be bit clear your voice is not clear can you be clear okay i think no no i think there is a problem i think there is a signal problem or something yeah go ahead now can you unmute and speak um i have a question sir regarding uh, uh the offerings we give for the uh, people who have vacated their body um so i think i answered uh, i answered this question last time uh, right so when we consult an astrologer they keep telling because uh, the offerings not given every year that's where you are going through the sufferings in the family uh, is yeah, it true it it is not true 
okay so it, it is opposite it is not true but it is absolutely false the people who speak those words they don't know the abcd of soul and soul evolution and life after death it's totally wrong understanding if you want right understanding you meditate open your third eye and you know yourself okay sir my next question is uh, uh, the soul planning uh, you mentioned about uh, the first breath uh, and you explained uh, about the how the soul takes uh, the mother's womb uh, similarly the uh, the last breath is also predetermined in the soul planning like uh, the co- the date time and cause and suffering the soul has to go through everything is planned everything is planned briefly okay everything has its own the blueprint is there okay so when the soul has to come when the soul has to depart okay so how the soul has to depart how the soul has to vacate the body is it with the illness or is it with in an accident or is somebody is going to shoot you or you are going to consciously vacate the breath so everything is planned in the soul but the planning is there but you have a free will also you have a free will whether to execute it or not so a normal person has to simply follow the plan that what we call as destiny okay so destiny means you are just following the plan you feel helpless but for a person who comes into raja yoga so he becomes a master of his own life so he knows how to use the free will so his free will overrules the destiny okay okay so uh, okay. that's this the soul signature even if the death is uh, date and time is predetermined we can we have the choice and the free will to overcome that of course you have but you should have that kind of energy to use that free will to overcome it if you don't have energy then what can you do you cannot do anything see only if you have money you can buy anything yeah if you don't have money what can you you cannot do anything so money is an important energy on the planet earth so how much money you have in your bank balance you can do so many things if you have money you can learn music you can go for sightseeing you can build a house you can do whatever you want if you have money right yeah. but if you don't have money then you have to sit quiet in the house not to not much can be done so it all depends on how much energy you have how much cosmic energy you have how much how much ichcha shakti you have how much will power you have how much gnana shakti you have how much kriya shakti you have it all depends on energy so this energy you get through meditation and good karmas and reading books thank you sir yes okay nabin nabin hato sir namaskar yes sir namaskar. i am from delhi sir as per your explanations during the meditations and intense meditation i have gone through different uh, experiences i have witnessed lot many visions smells both sweet and foul also these are the experiences i have got during my meditations but what happens one day just in the afternoon just about to take nap just went to my bed closed my eye for a napping what i saw a big scenery nature all the pla- uh, plants then suddenly that curtain start started opening from the center the one uh, wing is going to the left other is to the right and the clarity of that particular scenery i nature i got it which i could not see in my any life so much clarity of greenery and that witness it is it also the experience or a thought experience or it that is, is your astral experience that is your astral experience astral that is your, that is your dream experience dream experiences or your astral experiences you are seeing the astral worlds sir in that one astral world that in during meditation i just point to the air in the lying down position and started swinging uh, vigorously and then happened to see my uh, meditator guide chandra sir he is with me initially i got frightened and then moment i saw he is with me i was enjoying and that swinging that go, uh, went on 365 degree rotation all along in the lying down position that is perpendicular to the uh, earth and going, was going on and enjoying that one second one in another day i became a big bird 
And please please be precise. Please be precise, sir. Now we are running out of time. Get to the question straight. Sir. You should not you should not waste the public common time, you know. Being a big part that I started witnessing ocean beneath and sky on the top. Is it also, sir, astral travel? That's my question. If all your dream experiences are astral experiences. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Oh. All right. So, friends, I'll take only one more question. The rest of the questions I will take tomorrow because we are running out of time. Tomorrow, definitely, I will take questions. So, this will be the last one. Okay, Taruni. Good morning, sir. It was a nice section. Thank you for your uh, the jnana and everything. I want to ask you that. Uh, in the Jnana part two, uh, the, you are given example for snake and ladder. Huh? So uh, how can I know I am which, which state? And uh, uh, is it that only the life is, you, uh, you do all the tapasya by doing meditation and reaching the top and again coming back because of the siddhis you acquire. Huh? And you are yeah. uh, into again maya. Why? That is the game, madam. Then how will you learn what is illusion? <laughs> so how can to how can I know I am this stage and uh, see if you are if you, see that's why I said spiritual illusion is nothing but when you feel special, right? When you feel when you feel special, you are in a spiritual illusion, right? You might have some great siddhis. You might be a great healer, or you might be. Uh, you might be great in whatever. You have certain gifts of seeing the aura of another person or uh, you can able to see through the body or uh, you can, uh, or you can, you have many, many siddhis. You can go to other dimensions in meditation or, you know, you can speak the light language or you can manifest anything you want from astral. You can just manifest anything you want into the physical. So you might have many, many siddhis, but you are not... Uh, feeling elated, you are not feeling special, but you feel that this is a Siddhi, just a Siddhi. See, basically, there are two things, Siddhi and Buddhi. Okay. So, first, every meditator, because of his meditation practice, he will get Siddhis. Every person, he will get Siddhis only. And using, he has to know when to use it, when not to use it, how to use it, how not to use it. Every gift comes with responsibility. So every person, every soul, invariably, he will misuse the Siddhi in the beginning because he has all the good intentions. So you want to help the people. So he will use that Siddhis thinking that yeah. he is helping. Thinking that he is helping, he will use it. And again, he has to pay the karmic consequences because he has interfered in the other's evolution. So he will take many lifetimes in this Siddhi and then paying back the karma. Then finally he will realize, oh my God, this Siddhi is like a big trap for me. So in the soul planning, he will say, I don't want any more Siddhis, Baba. I want to just live a simple life. I want to live in truth. I don't want any Siddhis. The soul voluntarily drops all the Siddhis. And then when the soul is ready to uh, drop all the Siddhis, when all the Siddhis are gone, consciously dropping, then the buddhi comes. Okay, buddhi is wisdom. So, okay. unless a person drops all the siddhis, the buddhi doesn't come. So, when the buddhi comes, that means he has passed the jnana yoga stage two. <laughs> so, but it takes many lifetimes for different people. You know, it is like this, you know, I previously I told another example, right? So, now, because of this TRP ratings and because of this marketing, mm. there are many things. DNA activation, okay, mm. Kundalini activation. And then uh, there is also some meditations. You know, if you don't have children, there are some meditations you can have children. And if you are not married, single, you, you follow that meditation, then you will get a nice partner. And there are some meditation to clear the karma, karmic cleansing meditations are there. So, so many different types of meditations are getting marketed. And uh, people uh, get attracted. You know, who will get attracted? The people who are in that frequency, they will get attracted. Okay. So the teacher, the student attracts the teacher and the teacher also attracts the student 
frequency attracts frequency so the person who is looking for shortcuts he will attract that kind of a teacher mm. so they both are stuck in that illusion you got it they both are stuck in that spiritual illusion if you think there is a shortcut for your enlightenment if you think all your karmas can be cleared by somebody else if you think some angel is going to come and take off your karma if you think some star being is going to come and help you uh, remove all the karmas then you are in illusion because your karmas are uh, it's not a punishment your karmas are there to learn some lessons and uh, so if somebody can interfere to take away the karma that means you fail the lesson you have to take another lifetime to learn that lesson so that means more karma is getting accumulated okay okay so you have to see the bigger picture of what is happening and uh, you know there are uh, sessions uh, they will say okay you come to our session and we will help you to give all the energy with the energy you can manifest whatever you want and they will speak some light language and they you don't need to do anything you just you just sit you close your eyes and sit the light language is going to give you all uh, karmic cleansing the light language will give you all the energy and with that energy you can manifest whatever you want Okay. but then the mind says oh okay manifest whatever you want okay fine i want a car i want a house i want a beautiful wife i want children i can manifest whatever i want this is the maya fundamentally meditation is for enlightenment not for manifestation okay okay, okay. you know this group you know they go to the temple before they used to go to temple god i want this i want that you know i need good education i need uh, you know my children to be happy they will ask all those things so now they put a spiritual mask now they don't call themselves uh, religious they say we are spiritual but what they do manifestation they want manifestation in meditation so fundamentally they forget the point that meditation is for self realization meditation is for for enlightenment not for manifestation but manifestation naturally happens the more you do meditation the more the manifestation naturally happens because with more energy naturally you will manifest anything you want you can manifest but meditation and manifestation mixing together is the illusion okay see sankalpas are right sankalpas are nothing but desires desires are okay and meditation is for enlightenment but you mix both sankalpa meditation sankalpa dhyan then that's gone you are stuck on the mind level similarly if you feel somebody outside of you is going to help you my guru is going to help you okay so he is my teacher as long as he is in my presence i am taken care my guru will take care of me if you have the belief my guru will take care of me my teacher will take care of me my angel will take care of me if you have the belief somebody outside of you is going to take care of you is going to support you help you then you are in a great illusion the grand statement of gautam buddha is appo deepo bhava be a light to be a light unto yourself the teachings of the greek masters know thyself man know thyself so this is the truth the truth liberates you but if you are in illusion there is dependency okay so at what stage you are in depends on what is your understanding of the truth okay so tuesday patrisar is going to come for the one to one session the core principle of pssm the one of the most guiding the unique points of pyramid spiritual society's movement is be a master no dependency appo deepo bhava this is the grandest teaching but you will see on that day when patrisar comes everybody says sir namaste sir pranam sir with your blessing sir they will speak all those things that means they are not living in the truth what can he do he has spoken the truth but the students are not willing to listen what can he do buddha spoke the truth no idol worship but in the name of buddhism they are praying to buddha what can buddha do when people are stuck in illusion what can a master do okay sir when so the, when the core principle when the core principle of pssm is appo deepo bhava when the core teaching of pssm is be a master and if you don't follow it and if you believe somebody else is going to help you some angel is going to help you some star being is going to help you then who can help you nobody can help you 
sir uh, okay uh, one small uh, question like i if you can did you understood did you, you understood the previous yeah, because yeah. you asked the snake and ladder that is a final that is uh, that is a that's final a final lesson <laughs> yeah yeah this wonderfully you said sir that is little uh, one small question sir uh, actually we are uh, from the birth we have been uh, practice of doing all our rituals and everything then suddenly we are, I, we are first time coming to this section so there, there is no uh, uh, you need to no need to follow like uh, all the the karma kanda and these that so how we can come out from that It's because from the our four fathers they all are doing and we are yes madam that. yes i understand practice, practice. Okay, because habits die hard, right? You are being used to certain habit. It takes a bit of time. It die hard. So that's why you need scientific temper. Okay, what is scientific temper? Scientific temper means you have a certain open mindedness. Okay, scientific temper means you have a certain open mindedness, and you go with the research, you go with the facts, you go with the data, and you go with experiments. and you don't blindly follow anybody you do your own experiment and out of your own experiment out of your own research data you come into your own understanding that is scientific temper so do your own experiments all these while you have been following this rituals so be open minded to experiment sincerely meditation the more you do meditation the more naturally you drop all the things which doesn't serve your life all these while you are doing it because you think that is supporting you that is helping you so you sincerely do an experiment with meditation then you don't need to make an effort to drop it that automatically gets dropped the more you are coming closer to the light the more you are coming closer to the light the more the darkness goes away so don't focus on the darkness focus on the light don't worry about letting go of all the rituals put your effort time into this light naturally you are out of the darkness have the scientific temper mad have the scientific temper and only your own scientific temper will help you to get enlightened your own scientific temper will help you to come out of all the suffering belief and practices doesn't help you okay thank you sir. all right friends thank you for your work. yes where are you from madam i am from orissa sir you are from orissa okay good uh, yeah yes all right friends thank you very much so tomorrow i will take questions because saturday sunday we'll be doing deep meditation so tomorrow also we will take uh, questions and we will integrate lot of things thank you very much namaste to everyone dhanyawad see you tomorrow thank you master pradeep that was indeed a wonderful session especially the question and answer session the truth was very simple but the mind is just complicating things and you just explain it in a very clear way where everybody can understand it very clearly thank you once again and the topic of uh, the stages of evolution the life after death and all those topics it was very clear in understanding thank you very much namaste yes. friends thank you thank you so dear friends let us meet tomorrow morning at 6 am for another wonderful session by master pradeep and uh, we are having different sessions also masters we have a patriji doing meditation from morning 3 to 6 uh, 6 to 9 and evening 6 3 to 6 pm and uh, this is happening from tirupati and we are doing a live in the pmc valley cha youtube channel and also we have uh, spiritual science foundation courses conducted by dr shivarama passar you can register for us that, that. it is happening on this saturday sunday and monday the details are available in the website you can just please have a look at it and register yourself it is a 3 day complete uh, course certification course which happens from morning 10 am to evening 5 pm it is an online session where you understand the basics of spiritual science so dear masters please go in through the website and uh, register for the courses thank you and uh, see you all tomorrow morning at 6 am namaste mm-hmm.